Hey guys, what's going on? So let's talk about crashing this guy. The last few weeks we've been in Ecuador, we've been traveling around, go, 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 nonstop, seeing the entire country, and because of Ecuadorian laws on customs, the only drone I could bring was my Spark. Because this is less than $500, the drone itself, it's $499. The Ecuador Customs states that you can bring a drone as a personal device under $500. So obviously, Mavics, Phantoms, all the other drones you can't bring without potentially getting a ridiculously high import tax, which is 100% the value of the drone, come to find out after the fact. I thought it was somewhere in the 90s, but someone else told me it was 100% when I was there. Brought this guy, didn't have any issues with customs, I probably could have brought anything, but just because I've had issues in the past, I wanted to abide by the rules, brought Spark, which Spark is a good drone. Don't get me wrong, I like the Spark. However, a few times in my travels around Ecuador, I did end up crashing the Spark. So I'm gonna roll some footage so you guys can see what actually happened. Basically, in Cotopaxi, there was an area where I was flying. I was told I could fly here, no problem. Big, open landscape, awesome view of the giant volcano. The only issue is, when I went to set up the Spark, it kept giving me errors. It would give me magnetic interference no matter what. I'm at like 15,000 feet, I'm in the middle of a big field, and there's nothing blocking, I'm not near any metal. I've never had an issue like this in the past. Definitely was an issue here at Cotopaxi. So I got the Spark to register, ready to go, the GPS was ready, all that good stuff. Took off, the magnetic interference started again, and then it just took the Spark on a wild ride, I couldn't control it. It was crazy, like I couldn't control the spark. I could push it in a direction and then it kind of had a mind of its own. So the spark survived and I was able to fly for the rest of the trip. However, it did destroy a bunch of the propellers. All in all, the spark is actually pretty durable. I mean, it took a shot to a brick wall at full speed and it didn't really do anything to the spark itself. It just chipped up a couple propellers. A word of caution about flying the spark and not crashing. So if you're in this kind of situation, a big part of this is my fault because I was rushed. I didn't have a lot of time to fly the Spark and get the shots that I wanted because a bunch of people were waiting on me. You know, I had like a couple minutes to, to get Spark up while people were doing selfies with the mountain and all this. And you know what? That's what caused me to fly when I probably should have taken my time, gone through the settings, reset the drone, go through it, make sure that everything's working properly. And then if I'm still having issues every time I take off, land it, be done, and don't fly. So this flight in particular, I know it was my fault. I took it off, I thought I had, I thought that everything was working. But when you fly a drone, what you need to do is you need to let it hover for a little bit, make sure everything is good, checking, land it, take it off again. That's the process I do all the time. I was just rushed on this and I crashed. I don't often crash my drones and, and, and there you go, I crashed the Spark. Just because being rushed and not taking the time to actually go through the procedures that I've set up for myself to make sure that I'm flying properly and that I don't have any issues. So guys, I hope you'll find something helpful, useful out of this. Whenever you're flying, just give yourself a little buffer on the front end. Make sure everything is connected right, everything is working. I did have Spark give me other issues throughout this trip. I uh, crashed it a second time. That was not on me at all. There was another time where the Spark lost complete connection the controller freaked out it wouldn't connect anymore the controller wouldn't even turn off guys I'll do a separate video on that in a couple days when I get to that vlog because there's some stuff that you need to know about connection issues and all that and I discovered that by almost losing my spark at the top of another mountain another day with a huge group of people around me because everyone's interested in the spark but guys that's it for this video you get to see a crash baby spark survived it's a cool little drone, it actually works really well. I got a lot of really good footage in Ecuador. Guys, if you wanna see all the footage from our adventure in Ecuador, check out our vlogs. We got a ton of cool, awesome experiences. If you never even thought about traveling to Ecuador, we highly suggest it. We love Ecuador. It was an awesome country. All right guys, that's it. I'll see you on the next one.